स्टडी आई क्यू आई एस अब तैयारी हुई अफोर्डेबल आर्टिकल फिफ्टी सिक्स के बारे में कॉन्स्टेंट असेंबली में पहले से ही काफी डिबेट थी दर वॉज दिस आइडिया की इसका मिस यूज हो सकता है और इससे जो फेडरल रिलेशन है कि जिसकी हमने अभी बात की वो नेगेटिवली इम्पैक्ट होगा डॉक्टर बी आर अम्बेडकर का कहना था कि नहीं ये रेयरली ही यूज होगा मतलब इट्स लाइक इट इज गोइंग टू बी लाइक अ डेड लेटर दैट्स द वर्ड ही यूज लेकिन जैसे ही हमने आगे देखा और स्पेशली हम हमने सिक्सटीज ऑन वर्ड्स की भारत की राजनीति को देखा तो उसके बाद हमने आर्टिकल थ्री का मिस देखा तो सर आपने भी उस समय सर्व किया है जब आर्टिकल थ्री लागू हो रहा था तो आपका इस पर क्या व्यू है और किस तरीके से आपने कुछ एग्जांपल देंगे रियल एग्जांपल कि किस तरीके से गवर्नेंस को इम्पैक्ट करता है ये यू नो लॉज और कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रोविजंस आर इनेबलर्स नाउ इफ देर इज अ पॉलिटिकल मिसयूज ऑफ दोज इनेबलिंग प्रोविजंस देन ऑब्वियसली दैट वाज नॉट द पर्पस ऑफ सच लॉज सो आई थिंक थ्री वॉज रिक्वायर्ड बिकॉज इफ देर इज सच ए सिचुएशन एज हैज बीन आउटलाइन इन थ्री uh there would be need for a president's rule but fortunately in india as we are an evolving democracy i think we've matured as far as use of 356 is concerned if you look at the 60s and the 70s and the 80s the ease with which 356 was used is no more done now very rarely do you find a situation where people go for that and also the future leaders also recognize the fact that it should not be used just like that as it was done earlier and hence there were constitutional amendments to this effect on how article 356 has to be used and i am so glad that it was done because the abuse i should use that was happening earlier in the 70s and the 80s has virtually stopped now now you don't find even i mean i in my personal view in manipur there should have been pres- president's rule but even in that situation article 356 won't not used what happened at some point in in west bengal had it been 70s or 80s i think uh, the central government would have imposed president rule but they, did, they didn't so i think there is maturity uh, in our political leaders in this at least context where article 356 is not being misused as it was used earlier so in any democracy the legal or the constitution provision provide you the basis on which it gets built but as politics matures the misuse tends to get cut down and article 356 to my mind is a clear example where we can see maturity taking place is pe sir ek counter opinion aati hai ki uh, is it maturity in our political leadership or uh, this is about some political you can say dynamics per se ki manipur ki baat kare aur center ki baat kare to ruling party ka same hona kya ek isme ye ek reason tha और इससे पहले उत्तराखंड में भी आर्टिकल 356 मतलब आ, उसका रीज़न था वो पॉलिटिकल डिफेक्शंस वो वाला सिनेरियो उसके बाद प्रेसिडेंट रूल का रिकमेंड होना फिर उत्तराखंड की हाई कोर्ट द्वारा उसको रद्द किया जाना तो ये भी हमने इसी दौरान देखा है नो आई एग्री विद यू सी आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट इट हैज बिकम परफेक्ट दैट जी यूज ऑफ थ्री आई एम जस्ट कंपेयरिंग इट विद वॉट वॉज हैपनिंग इन द सेवेंटीज एंड एटीज गिवन दैट बैकग्राउंड आई थिंक वी हैव इम्प्रूव यस ऑब्वियसली एज वी मेच्योर फर्दर probably even that misuse will stop mm-hmm. but you know in an evolving democracy there would be such situations Ji. where it may be difficult to justify the action that has been taken mm-hmm. the ruling party would obviously try and justify mm-hmm. but i think the incidents of use of 356 mm-hmm. they have come down quite dramatically mm-hmm. if you look at this yes, yes. entire decade yeah and i think we can give some credit to judiciary as well sr bombay case judiciary said ki yes. rarely yes. is ka istemal hona that i think is the job of the judiciary yes 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 aur tabhi kaha jata hai ki center state relations aap federalism ki baat karenge to uska ek key pillar hota hai independent judiciary yeah. na uske bina nahi ho payega sir uh, students jo hai sunna chahenge ki क्या कैसे वो गवर्नेंस को इम्पैक्ट करता है मतलब एक्चुअली ग्राउंड uh, पर क्या इम्प्लीकेशन होता है क्योंकि कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन uh, का कैसे इस्तेमाल होता है पॉलिटिकल डायनेमिक्स कैसे वर्क करते हैं वो इन जनरल वो न्यूज़ में पढ़ते हैं बट रियल कोई एग्जांपल की देखो uh, अगर प्रेसिडेंट रूल लगा तो देखो इस वजह से ये ये इम्पैक्ट होता है यू नो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन दी कॉन्टेक्स्ट इन विच प्रेजिडेंट रूल इज इम्पोज लेट मी गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम स्टेट वेर आई फ्रॉम द स्टेट वेर आई कम फ्रॉम यू जी I was in a critical position when President's rule was imposed after the demolition of Babri Masjid. Hmm. I think anyone would have come to that conclusion that, given the background, it had to. Okay. So, to 
provide some stability in the social context, mm. in the law order and context, it was necessary for that. Mm. Now, president's rule for tackling an emergent situation mm. may be required, mm. but president's rule cannot continue for a very long time because ultimately, uh, in a democracy, it's the people who matter. Mm. And president's rule is not of the people. Yes. What it does is, it gives time to the administration to restore normalcy before elections can happen. Mm. And it happened, and then normalcy was restored. In UP, it happened. Mm. Look at another example where there was an attempt to impose president's rule uh, against a democratically elected government without any major event happening. Mm. This happened when Mr. Kalyan Singh became the chief minister for the second time. The governor of the state sent a recommendation to central government to dismiss this state government. Mm. And it was one of the rare cases where the president of India did not accept the recommendation of the cabinet. Hmm. Cabinet also recommended. Okay. And they, he didn't. Hmm. And ultimately, uh, president's rule was not imposed. You are saying that the Union uh, Council of Ministers said ki you should accept? For president's rule, the recommendation has to come from yes. the cabinet. Yes, yes, Union Cabinet. And if you recall, uh, after 1977, the constitution was amended mm -hmm. that the president has the authority to send back the proposal for rethinking. Yeah. Earlier it was not so, he yeah, was, earlier once. he was bound. He once. can send it once. once. He sent it back. Okay. And thereafter the political situation was such that the cabinet did not recommend it again. Again. It could have. Yes, yes. So, it, you know, that was a well worth an amendment because it gives time for people and the decision makers to reflect. Hmm. So, as I say, you know, our constitution has also evolved and this is a very good provision that has been there mm -hmm. that though president is bound by the advice of the cabinet, mm -hmm. at least in such cases, he can send it back for reconsideration, which he did. Mm -hmm. And then the cabinet did not move again. Mm -hmm. So, president rule or not imposed. Mm -hmm. Now, what th does this do? Mm -hmm. If such things happen very frequently, then the administration is in a fix. Yes. Because the overall guidance is given by the political or people at the top. Okay. And that guidance goes missing as to what is the direction to. Mm -hmm. I mean, civil service acts upon that those decisions mm -hmm. or that guidance. Mm -hmm. But if you have this uncertainty mm -hmm. at the top level, mm -hmm. then there wouldn't be any guidance available mm -hmm. and it impacts the administration. Mm -hmm. Study IQ IS. Ab hui affordable.